While some people worry about the possible annihilation of our species due to climate change or environmental degradation, they completely forget that the biggest threat to the continuity of our world comes from outer space. Asteroids and comets have caused drastic changes several times in the course of Earth's history. For example, 66 million years ago, an asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs and turned Earth into an inhospitable world for years. It can seem like impact events like these are far away, but those who think so are mistaken. NASA keeps a list of the most dangerous asteroids and comets. Four of them could collide with Earth in the coming decades or centuries, causing another apocalypse. In today's video, you'll learn how likely the collisions are, which are the most dangerous asteroids, and what emergency plans the governments of this world have. Before we launch, we'd like to invite you to support our work. The best way to do so is to click subscribe right now. Additionally, activate the notification bell and give us a like at the end of the video if you enjoyed it. We're now going to show you the unique images of an asteroid that narrowly missed our Earth in 2020. In 1998, OR-2 narrowly missed Earth. The object, named 1998 OR-2, was discovered on July 24, 1998, by astronomers in the Near Earth Asteroid Tracking Program at the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii. These scientists in Hawaii have made it their mission to protect the Earth and have been observing the sky and near-Earth orbits virtually around the clock. Asteroids and comets can suddenly appear out of nowhere due to their small size and luminosity, and that's what makes the danger so unpredictable. 1998 OR2 is one of the largest potentially dangerous asteroids and also one of the brightest, which makes it more visible from Earth than many other asteroids. 1998 OR2 orbits Earth in a highly eccentric orbit and could one day be on a collision course. At about a mile in diameter, the asteroid could be large enough to wipe out an entire nation and cause worldwide natural disasters. The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs had a diameter of nine miles and crashed into the sea off the coast of Mexico. Within a few seconds, everything within a radius of several thousand miles was suddenly destroyed. Tidal waves reached the African and European continents. The Earth's crust burst open. Worldwide tremors led to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, and a toxic mixture polluted the air. Due to immense fires and long-term climate changes, the Earth was never the same after the impact. When 1998 OR2 came very close to Earth in 2020, the all-clear was given. It was clear that the asteroid known for more than 20 years, would remain at a safe distance. This allowed researchers and amateur astronomers to enjoy the flyby at their leisure and take advantage of unique observing opportunities. Thanks to images from the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico, the eerie visitor from space even got something like a face. Astronomers joked that it even looked like the boulder was wearing a respirator mask to match what was happening on Earth. These images, also from the Arecibo Institute, show the shape and rotation of the celestial body very clearly. Observing asteroids is a special astronomical task to which certain groups of researchers around the world have devoted themselves. It's not at all easy to observe the small, fast-flying and rotating boulders with telescopes because many asteroids are pitch black and made of rocks and minerals that absorb almost all sunlight. They hardly reflect any light. Not infrequently, the chunks appear quite unexpectedly and are then already dangerously close to Earth. 1998 OR2 remained at a safe distance of 6.3 million kilometers during its flyby on April 28th and 29th, 2020. Overall, 1998 OR2's closest orbit is about 1,300,000 miles from Earth's orbit. Because the orbits of asteroids change, sometimes drastically, over decades and centuries, they can end up on collision courses. The orbital movements of asteroid 1998 OR2 are known with certainty until 2027 and have been classified as harmless. Experts suspect that this asteroid could become dangerous to Earth only on a timescale of hundreds, if not thousands, of years. Zurich astronomer Peter Engelmayer 
has managed to spot the asteroid in the night sky and even captured it on a unique film sequence. So we don't have to fear 1998 OR in the foreseeable future. But what about all the other asteroids that have near-Earth orbits? The Top 4 Most Dangerous Asteroids To estimate the danger of the known asteroids, astronomers use the so-called Palermo scale. In this scale, values like the impact risk, the destruction potential, and the remaining time until impact are summarized and expressed in a positive or negative value. The scale is named after the Italian city of Palermo, where astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi discovered the first asteroid in 1801. For decades and centuries to come, these four will be at the top of the list of potentially hazardous asteroids. 29075, 1950 DA, with a Palermo value of negative 1.42. 101955 Bennu, with a Palermo value of negative 1.69. 2000 SG 344, with a Palermo value of negative 2.84. 2008, JL3, with a Palermo value of negative 3.23. If the value is negative, there is currently only a reduced probability of an impact. If the value rises to zero or reaches a positive value, things get serious. In recent years, there has been one asteroid that reached a positive number and several smaller impacts that were not even predictable. 2019 OK Asteroid 2019 OK passed over Earth on July 24th and 25th, 2019 at a distance of only less than 43,000 miles. That's only about one-fifth the distance of the Moon, so it could be considered pretty darn close. At only about 300 feet in diameter, 2019 OK is a rather small chunk. Asteroids of this class are called city killers by researchers. They are enough to cause damage to entire cities and regions and kill many thousands of people. What was particularly frightening about this asteroid was that it appeared on the radar screens of the observatory in Hawaii only one day before its flyby. Asteroid over Russia In these images, an asteroid only about 60 feet wide can be seen over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk. It appeared out of nowhere in February 2013 and exploded about 20 miles above the city. Fortunately, there was no impact, but the explosive force of the asteroid triggered a shock wave that destroyed more than 1,000 buildings and injured 1,500 people. 2019 OK, which was more than twice as large, would have surely brought down the buildings in a city like this, injuring and killing many people. Apophis on June 19, 2004, a NASA release shocked the world. Exactly what researchers had hoped wouldn't happen had happened. The asteroid named Apophis had reached a value of plus 1.1 on the Palermo scale. The impact had been predicted for April 14, 2029. Planetary defense measures were underway worldwide. Then researchers gave an initial all clear. The asteroid's predicted course had changed. Apophis, named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and darkness, reaches about the size of the Empire State Building in New York and also could have wiped out an entire swath of land. Initially, the asteroid was back on a collision course with a new warning for the year 2068, but even that warning was corrected shortly thereafter and NASA announced an impact in 2068 is no longer possible and our calculations show no risk of impact for at least the next 100 years. 2009 JF-1 On May 4, 2009, asteroid 2009 JF-1 was discovered by the Catalina Sky Survey Telescope on Mount Lemmon in the U.S. state of Arizona. Initially, the chunk sent the world into an uproar. According to initial reports, the asteroid was about the size of the Cheops Pyramid in Egypt, and the Palermo value was negative 2.88 with an unknown trend. Shortly thereafter, the observation was corrected. 2009 JF-1 turned out to be only about a 30-foot chunk and then flew safely past Earth. Nevertheless, researchers continue to have this asteroid on the list of dangerous projectiles from space because 2009 JF-1 is extremely difficult to observe, and the risk it poses in the future cannot be calculated with any certainty. 2022 EB-5 
2022 EB-5 was astronomers' nightmare last year. It was the fifth asteroid since the beginning of the century to be discovered just hours before entering Earth's atmosphere. At 7.24 p.m. on March 11, 2022, the telescope located at the Piscatu Observatory in Hungary reported the sighting, and by 9.23 p.m., the asteroid was already entering Earth's atmosphere southwest of Jan Mayan Island near the Arctic. The chunk hurtled towards Earth at a speed of 10.6 miles per second, releasing a force of about 4 kilotons of TNT as it exploded in the air. The tremors were felt in Greenland and Norway, and observers in northern Iceland could see a bright flash on the horizon. Defense Strategies of NASA and ESA Finally, of course, the question remains what possibilities we humans would have to defend ourselves against an asteroid that would be of destructive size and whose collision course would be known in time before impact. Who doesn't immediately think of the Armageddon method? In the movie of the same name, NASA sent a squad of daring oil drilling experts to blast the asteroid. In fact, there are real plans to do so. But blasting a large asteroid could cause hundreds of small chunks to hurtle uncontrollably towards Earth or hit other asteroids, putting them on a collision course. Other approaches involve pulling a destructive asteroid out of its orbit via a gravitational shift. This would require a large object such as a space capsule or satellite to come close to the asteroid. The object's gravitational pull could gradually deflect the asteroid from its orbit. However, sufficient lead time is needed for this action. It would take years to pull an asteroid out of its orbit in this way. The fact is, we need to know more about asteroids. In 2014, ESA's Philae spacecraft landed on a comet for the first time. Since the mission was a great success, there will likely be more probes flying to asteroids and comets in the future to study them. The DART mission is also an ESA project. DART stands for Double Asteroid Deflection Test. The idea behind it is simple, to launch a space probe at high speed at an asteroid and deflect it from its trajectory. The asteroid Didymus was chosen as the training target. Together with its moon, Dimorphos, it orbits the Sun at such a safe distance that no one is endangered by the project. If the DART mission succeeds, this approach could also be used to push a dangerous asteroid from its orbit and protect the Earth. That sounds reasonably reassuring at the end, doesn't it? It seems as if the Earth and mankind are not at the mercy of the biggest and most visible chunks without protection. Tell us what you think about the threat of asteroids. Does it scare you? Or do you have confidence that scientists will come up with a solution in case of emergency? We welcome your input on the topic in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Simply Space.